It's your girl Candice for Nate and I'm back with another video and today as you guys see looking a little crazy hey as you guys see my title of this video I'm going to be doing showing you guys my wash day routine my wa my natural hair care routine my hair care routine whatever you want to call it my routine for healthy thick hair period people always ask me how do you keep your hair so thick how is this it looks so healthy how do you keep it y'all we I learned the name of the game at this point. All that my hair has been through. If you haven't learned anything by now, it's a problem. Just gonna get right into it. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You already know the drill. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Candice with two E's underscore Renee. I'll leave it right here on the screen. And let's just get that's right started we're gonna go to the sink i'm take. guess what you guys get to come this time because normally i'd be like you can't come to the sink y'all like mm -mm. but today I was like, I guess I can bring you guys along. So you're welcome. You're <laughs> I'm gonna show you all the products that I use, what I use it for. So let's just go ahead and head on out. Okay, so we're at the sink. <laughs> I forgot I need to put on my wash day shirt. I know y'all hear the fridge. Sorry, this, thank you, thank you. <laughs> That you understood the assignment. I need to change my shirt, get my towel, and then I'll be back. I have on the shirt and the towel. I take a little raggedy towel, you know, the pool towel. The towels that were your good towels, but then they got raggedy and bleached, and I use them for the pool. Yeah, I'm gonna saturate my hair with some warm water and then just shampoo, do my wash day, and y'all can watch. I'm done washing my hair as you see i'm gonna change my shirt into my second wash day shirt let's go ahead and change like this <clears throat> okay try to do the thumbnail <laughs> let's talk about the products that i use and why they promote healthy thick hair so first as you saw i use this sulfur a shampoo and i start with this because i use butters oils creams all that so i have to remove that otherwise my hair will be way down and product build up all that so i remove it and this as you see it says it promotes a healthy scalp what else does it say um it doesn't say that <laughs> it doesn't say that but that's what it does it removes dandruff flakes helps restore scalp's natural ph balance and is for all hair textures i started using this right after i big chopped it's, it's been working really well for my scalp like it hasn't been itchy irritated just been nice and healthy and you know what a healthy scalp promotes healthy growth i do this first i follow up with this pure moisture garnier fructis shampoo it's a very hydrating moisturizing shampoo i used to follow up with a sulfate free shampoo but this one like it doesn't it lathered today but normally doesn't really lather and cleanse it the first time 
and it's too drying to use it twice so i only do it twice when i really need to like deep deep clean so i follow up with this which is moisturizing and it still cleanses it but it doesn't feel stripped or dry your hair is moisturized it prevents breakage keeps your scalp nice and moisturized as well and healthy y'all it really starts with the scalp well it really starts within like your health within i'm gonna make a video like i said on healthy hair tips supplements all that that i took and we have this aussie moist three minute deep conditioner and i left this in for 10 minutes and i put a plastic bag over my head i just didn't show y'all because i just decided to do that at the last second but i have a love hate relationship with this because i love like you see it just my fingers just glided right through it so much so much slip like leaving it in longer using heat with it i feel it works better than just leaving it in three minutes and rinsing it out for me normally i follow the instructions you know i like to follow instructions but with this specifically that's where i noticed it works best i just wish it was silicone free because my hair like sometimes it loves it just depends on the product who makes the product how it's made sometimes it loves silicones sometimes it does not normally i will use this Mish indulge deep conditioner i'm just gonna do a twist out i have this labeled clip this is where all my hair clips are clips banana what are these alligator clips claw clips butterfly clip like, i keep all my clips in here take these alligator clips and oh, yes i have a hair tie in here because i need that i just tie my hair up in a loose ponytail then the rest clip it in sections side the right side after i clip it i just comb through with my fingers a little bit We want to prevent as much breakage as possible. Finger detangling has helped so much with that. This is the one brush that I'll use if I need to or really want to. Most of the time, fingers. What do they call a finger warrior? Yeah, that's me. Or a wide tooth comb. This is really for detangling before I wash my hair. First, we're taking this, the My Myel Hawaiian Ginger Leave-In. Just use a leave-in that's, once again, going to moisturize your hair. Because moisture is key, you guys. Moisture is key to having healthy hair. I need some more. Break it through. We're doing the twist out today. Was going to do a wash and go, but it's about to be really cold outside. And I don't know, I just feel like my hair needs to be as kind of stretched. Should be doing a braid out, but braid outs, are, I don't know. I'm going to have my spray bottle filled with water. Spray that. We're going with this. This is some grapeseed oil. But today I'm using this Blue Magic conditioner. I use that or the My L Pomegranate and Honey Twisting Souffle. And this just seals in all that moisture. Moisture just lasts for days when I use grease. Break that through. With this, you're not going to get as much definition because, you know, it's grease. But you'll get the moisture, which is what matters, and you'll get more volume. I just twist it up and that's it. I'm just going to repeat this. I'll come back when I'm getting to the front and then we'll go from there. I think that took me like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Also, I did them bigger. I started doing them small and I was like, mm, let's go ahead and make this a chunky twist out. I'm gonna make two twists here. I'm honestly shocked. It only took me 30 minutes. I'm happy. <laughs> Normally I'd be like, <sighs> I'd be exhausted, hungry, tired, sleepy, all of the above. But today, today, it's a new day, it's a new life, and I'm feeling good. Maybe I could do these into two as well at this point, but it's a lot easier to doing it this way versus like combing out the section applying the product you know i'm redoing the whole head at this point y'all see that right here inches that's my edges baby yeah don't play with me don't play with me they're coming back thicker thick okay go ahead let's see the product almost gone i want to cut it open to get the rest of that i might do that because I don't like wasting product. Now it's clean up. Now I got energy. Like, I'm like, yay, like, let's clean up. Yeah, normally we'll be like, okay, let's clean up. Now I'm like, show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now that we're cleaned up, 
I should have let it sit for a little longer, but this is rosemary water. Just boil a stem of rosemary in some water and let it sit for a few hours and then put it in this glass bottle. The dropper makes it so much easier to do this. So I just take some, I put it right on my edges and just rub it in. That's it. That's it. That's all. I'll be back tomorrow to show you guys how it looks once I take it's dry and I take the twist down. It is the next day. I already took my twist out. Part of maintaining healthy, thick hair is protecting it at night. This is a satin wrap. The scarf is satin and satin chiffon, and the bonnet is double sided satin. I wear this every single day night i do not lay down without my got my wrap on took the twist out uh yesterday i know i was gonna show you guys but i was in a rush so i sat under the dryer i let them because they weren't completely dry yet so i sat under the dryer for like 15 minutes first before i show you i thought i'd do a little something a little different my oh my plant's growing look you guys look at my plant <laughs> this is one of my plants <laughs> This is, who is this? Oh, this is Mel. Not me forget, sorry, bro. The snake plant, um, I got her when she was a little tiny, teensy weensy baby. I love plants, fun fact. I have like 20 children at this point. I'll insert a picture showing how she was when I first got her. I was just looking, I'm like, she's getting so tall. Stop growing up. <laughs> okay. Anyways, going to be showing you my makeup routine. Nothing special, honestly. I think I know what I'm doing. my makeup like this it's for video because i know it looks good on video outside in the light <laughs> i don't know what it's looking like i just do it strictly for indoors minutes oh my goodness okay y'all did not come for a makeup tutorial not me forcing you guys to watch me let's see if you didn't click out i hope you didn't oh my hair is so soft and oh just lovely so i like to take oil <laughs> rub it in my hands and then just pull my hair apart take my pick We're gonna take my water bottle and just spray it a little bit since I already did some of this braid gel from a Jamaican mango, Jamaican mango and lime. Oh, did I leave my brush? Well, in that case, I'm just using my hand right now. Then I take a clip, pull it back, and clip it here. And then I take bobby pin and I bite them right here to make sure 
when I slide it through my hair like tight right here and then do the same put like two or three that's it that's my routine it's now parting because before it would just be like round and I could still make it round but it's starting to hang like Anyways, we're not worried about length. Remember, health over length, but you know, I mean, I know y'all see it. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. And until next video, love you.